When it comes to bike head units, we're pretty much limited in colors. The choices we currently have on the market are black, 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 with a bit of orange, black, black, or gray. You get the picture. Last month, Wahoo released some limited edition element bolts coming in red and yellow-ish. I think that was the official color. We also saw Peter Sagan with a not available to us green element bolt at the Tour de France. So those of us who aren't Peter Sagan and don't want to spend that full GPS unit amount on just the colors, there are a few other options. Silicon cases, they've been around for a while. Let's have a look at the options that are available for the element bolt. Over here on Sigma Sport, there's a number of different options there. Well, and by a number, I mean a few. There's black, red, white, blue, and we're back to black again. Over on AliExpress, there's a few more colors there of the rainbow. Different pricing, maybe a little bit different quality as well, but there are options there for your element bolts. So we have black, gray, white, blue, red, yellow, and green. Green, like the Sargon one, but comes in a cover instead. eBay also have some listings over here with all those kind of colors. And Amazon have some as well. Probably go with the Amazon one as the most trusted source that are reviews here. So these get four and a half stars for the black, blue, uh, green-ish color, red or white over on Amazon. And there are different pricing as well. So 5.98 for the green-ish one, 598 for the white one. They also come with some protective screens as well for them. So multiple reasons why you'd run a silicon cover. If you're running mountain bike, cross, gravel, maybe not so much road, but if you don't want to expose your element to the elements, yes, I went there. These are a good idea. I've gone the blue one because I've got a blue bike with blue handlebar tape. So we'll see how this goes. First installation, simply putting over the top. Looks pretty good to me. So as easy as that, that's the upgrade for my element bolt. It's gonna match the handlebar tape. Looks pretty good. Okay, things of note for here, so you can still access the USB charge port behind here. The LED lights on top are still visible. The buttons are accessible, up, down, on, and the buttons on the front there. You can hear the tactile pressing still happening there. And one thing to watch for for any silicon case or cover of a GPS unit is that it doesn't cover the barometric altimeter hole. So it needs a little breathe hole. There's two back here in the element bolt, the Garmin's up in here somewhere. If it covers that, your altitude readings up and down will be all skewy because it will cover that and the air pressure will change inside the unit. So there it is, a cheap alternative to change the color of our head units, maybe to match our bike, maybe to protect it against the elements and also a screen cover as well. Yes, the element isn't a touch screen, but if you're getting mud and dirt and gravel all over it and you're sort of scraping it off to try and see the screen, you might end up in a world of scratchy pain. So those little uh, covers that come with those packs might be the way to go. There we are, thanks for watching and enjoy the ride.